Hello, how are you doing? Have you heard the term LM as a judge? And you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is. Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So what is LLM as a judge? LLM as a judge means using an LLM to evaluate other LLM generated answers. It helps rank, score, or choose between outputs just like a human reviewer would do in the real world. Why does this technique matter? Well, with LM driven systems, how can we know for sure that we are sharing high quality results with our users? Human evaluations are slow and costly and simply don't scale very well. So can LMs help? Let's explore how LMs can reliably judge other LLMs. First, we'll go over a few architectural options for building systems incorporating LM as a judge. The first architecture is where a single LLM acts as a judge. In this approach, a single LLM compares answers and picks a winner if there are multiple answers or scores each one if there's just one single answer. It's efficient, but it can be biased or inconsistent. Next, in the second architectural option, we have a multi LLM panel for judging answers. In this approach, multiple LLMs act as judges and their votes are aggregated. This reduces bias and adds robustness. Think of this like a group of LLMs on a panel deciding together. So our third architectural option is simply called self-judge. In this approach, the same LLM generating the response also critiques its own answers. Quite often, this approach is used for self-improvement or quality checks. Quite simply, the LLM looks at its own response and gives itself a grade. So regardless of which architecture you implement, there are some LLM judge-centric methods you can pick from when implementing an LLM as a judging system. Let's look at these next. So the first method you can implement is chain of thought evaluation. When you prompt your LM judge, you prompt it to think step by step before jumping to an answer. This improves transparency as you can see the LM's line of reasoning as it judges a response. Quite simply, you ask the LM to explain how it arrived at its judgment. The second method is called critique the vote. First, the judging LM writes a critique of the answer. Then it votes based on the critique. Think of the LM judge as generating the pros and cons first, and then the verdict after. The third method is to fine tune your judging LM for judging. With this method, the LM is trained only to judge and not to generate. You fine tune the LM so that it's aligned to your human scoring preferences. Think of this method as a specialized LM critic trained just to evaluate answers. So can a LM really judge another LLM? Yes, LMs can match human judgments with high accuracy, especially when using multiple judges or step-by-step -step reasoning. And more importantly, they can do it at scale. So does LM as a judge really matter? Yes. LM as a judge helps scale evaluations for production grade LM driven systems. It's fast, cheap, and great for continuous feedback loops. LLMs judging LLMs is the key to safer, faster, and scalable deployments. So just a quick heads up, I'm working on a separate video on common strategies on how to handle scenarios where the judging LLM vetoes or gives a thumbs down on an answer and it cannot be forwarded to a user. Look for this video here in the next week or so if this sounds interesting to you. Okay, so let me know what you think of LM as a judge. Do you think you might implement this technique in any of your LM driven systems? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I wanna hear about that. Okay, thanks for watching. This video along with all the other business playlists are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, 
this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. But get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thank you.